Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to learn how to paint this lovely sunset painting. Create a canvas size of 4000 pixels by 2000 pixels. I have pre-sketched my drawing and this drawing would be available on Pinterest in the link below. Create a new layer and drag that new layer under the sketch layer. Use the hard airbrush, make sure your opacity is 100% and use a really large size. And we're going to apply orange and red and yellow. We're going to apply these colors randomly on the background to represent the sky of the sunset. After applying all of these colors, we're going to go to our brush library and we're going to select the soft airbrush. Make sure your soft airbrush brush type is smudge because remember we want to use this brush to blend all of the colors together. Make sure your flow is about 8% and where you have two colors meeting, for example, orange and yellow, or red and orange, make sure you blend the areas where the two colors are meeting so that the transition is smooth between the two colors to give it a more naturalistic effect. After using a smudge tool to blend these colors, Go to the color wheel and we're going to select a very light yellow. Use the hard airbrush brush tool to apply this very light yellow on top of the darker yellow of the sky. Now I am simply going to the color picker and I'm adding some random yellow and some orange and I'm using the soft airbrush. Make sure your brush type is on smudge so that we're able to blend all of the colors together into the sky. Next, create a new layer. Above the sky layer, go to your felt pen, make sure your felt pen is about 19.5 and go to the shape tool to create a circle. When you finish creating that circle, go to the move tool to drag that circle into the position of the sketch. So this circle is going to represent our sun. We're going to go to the fill bucket or fill tool and we're going to make sure the tolerance is about 167 and we're going to fill that color, fill the circle, sorry, with orange. Go to your hard airbrush and we're going to use a range of color, a range of yellow, orange and red. While you're doing this, make sure this layer is locked. So you should see a little icon that looks like a lock that indicates that this layer is locked so that way you're able to add these colors onto the sun without these colors um, spilling over onto the sky layer. When we're finished with adding these colors randomly, the red, orange and yellows, we go to the soft airbrush and we're going to make sure our brush type 
a smudge make sure it's about 8% and we're going to blend all of these colors together to get a smooth transition Select a very light yellow, use the hard airbrush tool, go to the shape tool to create a circle. Use the move tool to drag that circle over the sun. When we are finished, we go to that layer and we turn down the opacity of that layer to give us a more naturalistic look of the rays of the sun create a new layer go to the ruler tool and make sure your ruler is in a horizontal position go to the felt pen and choose a very dark blue to create a horizontal line Use the fill bucket or the fill tool to fill this area with the very dark blue color. Then we're going to go to our brush library and we're going to look for the salty watercolor brush. We're going to select some lighter blue but more on the gray side and we're going to create horizontal strokes using our salty watercolor brush make sure you have varying colors of some light ones some dark ones and we're simply making these horizontal strokes which would actually represent the waves of the sea Go to your color wheel and we're going to select a grayish yellowish color and we're going to use the same salty watercolor brush to apply these horizontal strokes in the water. This would represent the reflection of the sun on the waves. After applying the yellow color we're going to go to our color picker and we're going to select a lighter yellow. We're still using the salty watercolor brush. Make sure that your brush is of a small size and we're just going to apply this lighter yellow onto the yellow color that we have already to create some variation. Then we're going to go to our color picker and we're going to choose orange. We're still using the salty watercolor brush and we're just simply going to add some random orange onto our waves so that we're able to um, have some of the reflection of the sky in the water. Create a new layer above the water layer. Go to your brush library and select the felt pen. Make sure the size is about 10.8. Go to your color picker and we're going to select black. Then we're going to outline the landform. After we have finished outlining the landform, we go to the fill bucket or the fill tool and we're going to simply fill that, fill this area with black. Create a new layer above the landform layer. Go to your brush library and select the feathery brush from shapes. Use a black color and we're simply going to add the vegetation on the land. Use the sketch layer as a guide to know where to put 
the vegetation on the land. Create a new layer above the vegetation layer. Go to your brush library and select the fell pen. The size should be about 10.8 and we're simply going to outline our largest flamingo. Make sure that all of the lines, they are connected to each other. When we have finished outline our largest flamingo, we will go to our fill bucket or our fill tool to fill the shape to create the silhouette of the flamingo. After we are finished using the fill bucket to fill our first flamingo, create a new layer. Go to your brush library and we're going to use the fell pen. Make sure your size is about 5.2 and we're simply going to do the same thing as we would have done with the first flamingo by outlining this flamingo. When we are finished, we go to the fill bucket or the fill tool to fill the shapes. After doing that, go to your sketch layer and we're going to click onto the icon that looks like an eye. This will turn off your sketch layer and reveal the finished artwork. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in my next video.